please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful sublimation photo mug y'all. This turned out so cute. Wait, look at the other side real, real quick. Booyah! Okay, let's just jump into the video. Let's go! Okay guys, I'm going to show you how I got this image. My mother actually made this font, Sassy Science Fun Fonts on Etsy. She made this font and she made this on Cam in Canva, okay? So I'm going to just duplicate this really quickly. I had my mother email me this photo that she created and instead of me putting this photo on the mug i did want to go to edit image and remove the background this is a pro feature i want you to be aware of that now when you remove backgrounds you see how that looks you can erase more or you can restore so i actually wanted to restore the actual notepad and everything with her name on it i wanted to restore that okay so I'm just showing you me restoring that portion of the notebook and making sure everything is restored. You can use this zoom in, zoom out to make sure everything was restored correctly. And then you have to press done and you have to press apply or it will not work. Okay. Sometimes you get lucky, but let's not play around with it. So once I press apply, now I have the image and this image is going to have a transparent background so I could just put it on the mug. So I'm going to go to share. I'm going to go to download. I'm going to keep it as a PNG. I'm going to select transparent background and then I'm going to just download one of them and press done and I'm going to press download and it's going to go ahead and download down at the bottom. Okay. So that's how I save the PNG. See, there it is right there with a transparent background. Now I'm going to merge this inside of Silhouette Studio or you can use Cricut Design Space because it's going to be really small. But you guys know I use Silhouette so I can get more out of it. Okay, I'm going to minimize that. So now I'm inside of Silhouette Studio. I do have the business edition. You can do this with the free edition if you like. And I'm using an 11 by 17 paper. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to merge it. And then I'm going to go to the file. I'm going to merge it. And then it's going to actually come up here. Okay. So that's what I had saved it as. And then now it's going to be huge because I use 3000 by 3000 pixels. And I'm going to minimize this. Uh, I did measure my mug either I already showed you that or I'm going to show you okay, that. Okay so this is a Cricut 12 ounce mug and I want to use the largest width I would use would be 3.25 right here so you can see the mug and then the height just to be sure would be anything under 3.25 so possibly 3.1 and some change because I don't want it to be on the curved portion. I want it to be directly in the middle. Okay. So when I measure, I'll probably use 3.1 close to 3.2. Okay. So this is a 12 ounce Cricut mug. Okay. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and size the images. I want the design to be in height about 3.2. 3.1 or 3.2 in height this is kind of a weird design so you have to make sure that the height and the width will look good on the mug okay so they specifically wanted this shape so it's taller than it is wider and so with the height about three point all right i'm going to use the 3.163 and then I'm going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to copy and paste just in case I need extras. I always want to have more than less. Okay. So now I'm going to actually print this out 
all of these out on one page my settings for sublimation automatically mirrors my images you guys know that if you've been watching me if you're new watch my beginning sublimation videos and you can see that and then i'm going to just send this to my epson workforce 7720 printer and then we're going to go from there okay well before i do that i'm actually going to go ahead and resize this image this is my aunt angie my great aunt angie and this is going to go on the other side of the mug okay so let me make sure that this is a good size as well so really quickly let me explain the importance of this this is my granny and my aunt angie and my granny is the youngest of i believe it's eight and my angie is the oldest my granny passed away however my aunt angie on these pictures she was turning 90 okay and i actually interviewed her this was a couple years after my granny passed and i interviewed her so that i can learn more about their family so we had us a blast clearly look at us she is so much fun so yep that's my Aunt Angie. She is 97 as of right now, and she'll be turning 98 next year. And these are photos of us, my mom, my aunt, and my daughter, and my Aunt Angie. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of history of why this is so important to us. And her daughter, my cousin Rhonda, wanted these mugs. So I'm making this for her. I didn't know if she wanted me to share her photos, so I did not. But yeah, okay, back to the design. Okay, we're going to make this. I want it to be 3.2, 3.111, all right? So I'm going to copy and paste. I'm literally just copy and pasting these because this is going to go on the other side of the mug per request, okay? This is what they want. I'm just giving them what they want. So we have my Aunt Angie's photo as well as her fonts that my mother made and then we're going to print both these images and these images out okay so now we're going to send the these images to the printer okay guys so i have everything printed out here this is a sub sublimation paper 11 by 17 as you guys saw i have one side of the mug and then i have the photos for the other side of the mug these pictures came out so good look how clear that looks okay i do have my cricket heat tape let's let it focus my cricket come on i do have my cricket heat tape here on my little scotch thingy that i place on my table I have alcohol because I do clean my mugs of any residue or any dust or anything or fingerprints or anything with alcohol and coffee filters and I use coffee filters because they do not have lint like napkins okay so I use coffee filters this is my Dollar Tree hack and then I do have Cricut mugs okay these are 12 ounce cricket mugs okay so that's what i'm going to be using and then i have my heat press nation signature mug press all right i have it there i made sure that the mugs fit snug inside of there you don't want it too tight because you will crack the mugs you can crack that off as well okay so i didn't want it too tight but i wanted it tight enough it is on 385 for 190 okay so now i'm going to clean the mug i'm going to cut my images out and then i'm going to take them on the mug okay so that's what i do so let me go ahead and do that and get this off of here because that's irking me <laughs> all right so i'm going to set you guys up so you can watch me okay so the first thing i'm going to do is cut out a few of these so I can make sure that the sizing is good. Okay. okay, I don't want these to fall. You don't want lint or anything to get on the images. So I'm going to lay them down safe and out the way. Okay. So now you guys should know by now, I try to make sure I get as close as possible to the images. And this is a weird shape image. 
So be mindful of this when you're doing sizes and when you're creating. This is specifically, like I said, what my mom had already made and what my cousin had wanted. So depending on if the person is right-handed or left-handed, you can put what you want on there. I'm going to put her face probably on the outside and then this on the inside, or I could switch it up. Oh, there we go. And, and of course, you want to make sure you have it the right way. So we can see her name, Angie, on there. So we know that this is the right way. This is the right size. And it's a perfect size, y'all. You also want to make sure that when you put the mugs in the mug press, that you don't have things too close because the mug press only closes a certain amount. Okay? So we're going to place this. And I can even measure so I can make sure that all of them will be the same. So I can even take my measuring tape and measure one point three. That's where I want all of them to go. Okay, so they'll be all in the same spots. So this is one side, and then let me get the image for the other side. And remember, it's one point three. And I'm just cutting her image out. Sorry. And there we go. If it's perfect on this side. And I could even make it a little bigger if I wanted to. But that fits perfect. We have enough wiggle room. Now we're gonna clean these off. Clean them off really good. Let that kind of sit there. I'm gonna clean the next one off since I have this and it's still wet. So I could get enough that alcohol. Alcohol dries fast. So I'm gonna set that there. Because I have a few of them to make. And I'll just clean a few of them off. And this is how it comes. The cricket mugs in the package. This one off too. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, put this back on here. Okay, it's nice and clean. I want to be very careful with my fingers. Okay, and then remember it was. Scoot it over so. Okay. I'm going to set it there. And then I'm going to grab my tape. See where I want to place it again. Make sure her name is straight. So I'm making sure her name is straight. So that looks good. I said I don't want it too close. 
gonna scoot it over just a little bit. And we can, oops, you can take the size. I just want to make sure there's no problems, okay? Uh -uh. You don't want that piece of hair because that'll go right. There we go. Okay. That other side off again. All right. And I'm going to grab this. I made this. It's a video when I made this. So you guys can watch that if you want. Because this is going to help a lot. See? See how easy that is now? Now we're going to just place that image. You want to make sure that it's straight. You want to make sure it's straight. Then we're going to tape that down. Tape that down. Okay. You can take the edges if you want. It's completely up to you. So now we have that tape. Okay. I'm just making sure the image is straight. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead. Let me scoot you over. We're going to go ahead Place it inside the mug press. Make sure the entire portions are covered. Three eighty-five for one ninety seconds. Three eighty-five for one ninety seconds. Okay. Okay. So while that is cooking or baking or whatever you want to call it, we're gonna do this side, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so now we're going to get ready for this side. And we're going to do the same thing. We can measure that side. Or since it's in here, you can eyeball this 100% up to you. Okay. And then we're going to just make sure her name is straight. Okay. Look how much easier it was using this holder. So make sure you watch my video on how you can make one so you can make it yourself. Um, I absolutely love this. So yeah. You could also have tricks. So like at the bottom, you could align stuff up. It's certain, you could do all types of ways to make sure it's in the same place. But because we're doing it this way, we're definitely going to be able to make sure it's in the same place. There we go. Now the other side. Oh, it's ready. 
so it's ready we're gonna slide it out and you know it went through when you can see the colors okay so we know it went through so i'm gonna just let this cool off for a second before we unpeel it all right okay so back to prepping this one make sure there's no lint or anything going there we're going to lay it down make sure she's straight okay and you could always use your measuring tape for specifics if you want to make sure things are straight top and bottom you can use as much tape or as little tape as you like whatever makes you feel comfortable okay it's a hundred percent up to you but this is buckling so i think this might be a little bit too much tape so i'm gonna just take some of it off and i'm gonna cut it okay All right, now we're gonna slide this one inside. And I'm literally gonna do the same thing. And we're just gonna keep doing that for the next ones, okay? All right, while that one is baking or cooking, we're gonna see how this one turned out. So we're gonna just pull this tape off. And it's still kind of hot. So you can let it cool completely off or not completely up to you. And then you want to be careful not to not to scrape the porcelain. <gasps> oh, let me turn it this way so we can see it. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how good that turned out. Look at those colors. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right. And then, oh, it's hot. Do not burn yourself. I actually should use my, my gloves, probably. My heat gloves. Yeah, let's do things the right way. Let me put my heat gloves on. Okay, safety first. Now I have my heat gloves on. This isn't hot, so I don't need it for there. Be careful that you don't scrape the porcelain off. We don't want that. So here's the moment of truth, the photo. <gasps> Ooh -wee! Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous, guys. Yeah, that came out perfect. Look at it. Oh, this is beautiful. And see? There's the whole mug. We did that. These Cricut mugs do work for sublimation and they work beautiful. Look at this. Oh, y'all, look at that photo. Those colors are popping. Cosmo Ink A Sub Paper. Cosmo Ink A Sub Paper. My mom's sassy science fonts. Look at this. And my Aunt Angie. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I love it. Okay. The next one is ready. And I'm not going to, I'm going to move this because look, I, I burnt it. So I slid that out the way and I'm going to let this cool off. And I'm going to do the rest. But that's how you do a Cricut mug. Let this cool off. And then it'll look like this. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. So happy with this. All right. Look up close and personal, baby. These are popping tin. Oh, these turned out good. Okay, guys, I finished them and they look amazing. Just to remind you, this is my 97 year old great. Every last one of them came out great. 
I am so happy with them. I absolutely love them. And this is Angie font. This is her name. And this is her font that my mother made for her. Her page for font is an Etsy page. It's Sassy Science Fun Fonts on my mother's Etsy. And this is the font called Angie for my Auntie Angie. But they all came out great. I'm in love with them. And... My cousin loves them as well, so I'm so happy. Once again, my great aunt is 97 years young. She looks absolutely amazing. Look at her. Yes. That's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, do dream one is the handle. TikTok, do dream one is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.